on. It's Wednesday, and it's time to talk to Joe, the Brian Insurance Guy. And, Joe, I'm pretty impressed today. You brought you a friend with you, and I didn't know you had any. Boy, I tell you, it's amazing. Uh, just when you think you know a person, he pops out and, oh, look at that. He's got a friend. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, what I decided to do today is, you know, we've talked for a couple weeks now about – uh, just what Brian Insurance does. We handle all your, you know, your your personal items, your home, your auto, life insurance, health insurance, but uh, we also do a lot of commercial business as well. And so I brought over with me Ty Gurner, uh, who's been in the commercial game for years now, knows uh, knows quite a bit about it. And we we were talking at the office the other day about a, a common kind of misconception that folks have when it comes to commercial automobiles and when do you need to have it on a commercial policy when do you need to have it you know when can you keep it on your regular auto policy and just kind of what the heck is a commercial policy and and what does it cover maybe that your you know your personal auto doesn't so uh figured I'd bring Ty with me Ty let's just kind of talk a little bit about why folks may want to consider having a commercial auto policy and, and taking their you know their their truck or or what have you off of just a regular personal auto. Well, most of the time people uh, come into the office and they say that they have, you know, they come in for their business and they say that they already have auto with their personal lines company. Well, a lot of, what they don't know is is that a lot of times whenever you leave your driveway and you're on the job side or something like that, that's actually considered a commercial auto. And a lot of these personal lines companies won't cover that in the case of a claim or an accident or something like that if they find out that you're you were on the job in the event of a claim. Yeah, that's one uh, that's one thing that we get a lot. Uh, I've gotten it for for a long time. Uh, on the personal line side, people like to do it with uh, adding kids. They realize that you know when they add that sixteen year old boy to the personal auto policy, rates going to go through the roof. So what do they do? They kind of skirt it a little bit and say, I don't have a kid. Or they just don't tell us about it. And that's the thing with commercial auto, too. They may get out there and, you know, you may be uh, pulling a trailer with signs all over your truck because you're doing, you know, plumbing or electrical or, or whatever you're doing out there. And they just don't tell anybody. And they think, well, you know what? I'm good. I'll be all right. Until they get into an accident. And then it all starts to kind of unravel for you. What, what are some of the things that you've experienced with companies where they realize that, hey, this should have been on a commercial auto policy uh, and, and the customer gets into an accident. Well, that's the main thing about that is is you don't ever know that you had it written incorrectly until there's an accident, and uh, they just think that if you have it covered on your personal lines policy that it's covered. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Like I said, a lot of these personal lines companies don't want that exposure of you and your auto when it comes to a business. You're usually in the auto a lot more driving around there's more exposure than if it's just a personal auto that you just drive to work drive to school or whatever yeah and that's that's the major thing that that auto insurance companies any insurance company basically they're measuring risk and when you talk about risk you're you're less likely to have an accident if just like you said you get in your car you drive to work you drive home from work, you drive to the store. Not a big deal. Exactly. But when you're in a commer- when you're considered commercial, the risk is higher because the tendency for you to drive around a lot more is there. You're not just driving to work and driving from home. You're driving here, you're driving there. You've got signs on your truck. And unfortunately, in these days, signs on a truck is darn near 